my visuals and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Visual Guys Wrestling Prediction where I say it every time, I'm going to say it again, where we do have Visual Guys Champion and I think it is Chris, but he doesn't do the predictions anymore. I think he's just stopped ra watching wrestling altogether. But anyway, we have the ever so controversial WWE Crown Joe coming up at the time I'm recording. I'm recording it on Friday, four o'clock, and the show will be, in fact, 24 hours. I think it starts UK time, four o'clock, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So what we're going to do, we're going to predict, and hopefully you're going to let us know your predictions in the comments below. Um, you, the, your favourite match you're looking forward to, your least favourite, do you think it's going to play out, hype not, do you like the fact that WWE have the Saudi Arabia shows, whatever it wants, uh, whatever it wants, whatever you want about the Crown Jewel pay-per-view, let me know in the comments. But anyway, let's predict our first match. It's not a match, it's Bray Wyatt. Uh, it got announced on Raw, I think it did, that Bray Wyatt was just going to uh, take us further down the rabbit hole at the, the Crown Jewel. I don't know, have we had much Bray Wyatt shenanigans at Crown Jewel? I can't even remember now. But I, 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 I don't know what the crowd will take to his shenanigans. Uh, we're going to see a this 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 masked who, whoever, who's behind this mask, I don't know, um, figure appear in the ring. Is that going to happen? What's going to go down? I guess the prediction is uh, his new character reveal, I, I, I guess. And next up, it's the OC against the Judgment Day, a feud which I really, really buy into and love the OC. And I really like the Judgment Day. I got a bit stale on the Judgment Day because I felt like the the... They built them really high, then it just went a bit stale. Now they're building them back up. This is a hard one because it will be a huge win for them to get a win over the OC. But the OC have been taking individual losses lately. What do we do going forward into this? I'm going to say the OC. I'm going to say the OC pick up the win, but that's very... Uh... The two big boys are Braun Strowman against Omos. Um... Braun Strowman has hit the deck running since he's been back. He's just smashed over his path. Omos is another person that just smashed over his pass. Which big guy do they want to build more? Braun. Braun Strowman wins this one. They want, they're they going to build him more. Oh, this is another real coin toss. Braun Strowman. Drew McIntyre against Karrion Cross, A feud that I have absolutely adored so freaking much. I've, I've enjoyed this feud so, so much. Inside of a steel cage, I forgot to mention that bit. Who picked up the last win? Uh, well, Drew came out, didn't he? Or was it uh, Raw or SmackDown? I can't, I can't remember who's on which brand anymore. Um, and uh, made a mess of him. There was, the, there was the whole car incident. But the last pay-per-view match was the the strap match, wasn't it? And Karrion picked up the win on that. Drew's going to win this one. Drew's going to make it one all in actual pay-per-view matches. Drew, my boy. My boy, Big Daddy Clemon. Io Sky and Dakota Kai are up against Alexa Bliss and Asuka to try and get back um, Io and uh, Thingy, that is, to get back their uh, uh, WWE Women, I was going to say Raw, uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Championships because we saw Bliss and Asuka pick up this win the other day, uh, which was a bit of a shock. I didn't think they would give, I thought they would carry on, they'll build the whole thing with Bailey and whatnot. <sighs> Bliss and Asuka to retain. Yeah, of course they are. Surely they're going to put the titles on them. I know W have done this shit in the past before, but now Triple H is in charge. I can't see him wanting to do that because he knows some, a lot of the fans, uh, myself included, get if when that happens. So Asuka and Bliss retain their titles. Usos against the Brawling Brutes. Uh, obviously Sheamus is not part of this. Um, I love the Brawling Brutes. I love everything. I love them with and without Sheamus and shit. Um... But the Usos, the Usos are going to, the, the, the bloodline, I'm spoiling for my, late, my last prediction, the Usos, uh, the bloodline, everybody's leaving with all their titles intact. But it should be a really good and very physical match. Belair, my girl, fucking love Bianca Belair against Bailey for the Raw Women's Championship. And my, my potential, because I haven't said it yet, uh, I've been waiting for this one, my potential for a match of the night. I think this is going to be a freaking epic match. Uh, I've been on adore Bailey, I think she's great. But Bianca Belair is just... She's on another level to so many uh, W superstars, men and women. She's fucking amazing. And I'm, I'm going straight with my girl, Bianca Belair. She is going to absolutely smash. She's going to keep her Roman champion, uh, championship and just, just carry on killing it in the future. I fucking love the girl. Lesnar against Bobby Lashley. I've already said the big the big boys are fighting, but now the other big boys, just not as tall uh, uh, boys, are fighting. The, the, the absolute muscle powerhouses. Lesnar, Lashley. Which, again, I've already said there could be a good physical fight with Usos against the Brawler Brutes. I'm, I've lied. I take that back because I forgot about this match. But Lesnar and Lashley is obviously going to be the most physical match. Oh, who gets this win here? 
Who the fuck gets this win? It's not ending here. They're going to have a couple, obviously. It's going to be a fun feud. I love everything about it. Uh, you know, it's it's great to have typical, great, awesome, you know, quick chain wrestling, proper wrestling matches. Sometimes it's nice to watch big dudes, big dudes, big dudes just fuck each other up. And I'm saying Lesnar picks up the win. It's the main event, the Tribal Chief. Chi Chi I'm getting my words so fucked today. The Tribal Chief and the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Roman Reigns is taking on Logan Paul with that one-punch knockout power. Logan Paul also being one of my favourite human beings to ever exist in the universe. I fucking love that man so much. Always have. Um, but as much as I love you, mate, and as much as I would, I would love to see you with the titles, I know it might be a little bit like, uh, but I personally, I could see him coming out uh, on Raw or SmackDown or whatever, just being like, yeah, and doing, doing his thing with it, using it on his social media channel and stuff. Um, on his social media channel, on his YouTube channel and shit. But let's be honest, Roman is just absolutely destroying it the past couple of years. He is so amazing as this tribal chief, uh, heel, badass character. Paul Heyman with him, the Usos with him. Um, every, oh, everything about it is absolutely fantastic. And Roman is obviously going to retain. I think as well, I think it will be close. I think there will be a knockout. Like, oh my God, Logan's going to do it. I think it's going to be very, it's going to get you. And I can't wait for it. But Logan Paul picks up the win. So Logan Paul picks up the win there. Roman Reigns. Picks up the win. Not Logan Paul. But anyway, uh, there was my uh, predictions for WWE Crown Jewel 2022. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below. Are you looking forward to the show? All the, the weird shenanigans surrounding the show itself. Let me know in the comments below. Visuals. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are literally the best. And remorse, keep being you. And keep on. I keep it on.